Hello and welcome to Spring Cloud Dataflow. Let me introduce you to the updated security model in version 2.0 of Spring Cloud Dataflow. A major change is the standardization around OAuth 2 and OpenID Connect and the specific support of the Cloud Foundry user account and authentication server, further referred to as UAA. This provides a unified security model and experience for local Cloud Foundry and Kubernetes deployment scenarios. Specifically, we will go over the LDAP security and UAA example that is provided as part of the Spring Cloud Dataflow Samples Repository on GitHub. For this demo, we will set up four server instances. One LDAP server running on port 40,000, one UAA server running on port 8080, one instance of Spring Cloud Skipper running on port 7577, one instance of Spring Cloud Dataflow running on port 9393. Spring Cloud Skipper as well as Spring Cloud Dataflow will be both secured by the UAA. The sample provides two users, one with all roles and one user with just view and manage roles. The roles are managed by LDAP. For detailed instructions, please refer to the GitHub repository with the source code. Let's start the four server instances. First, let's start the LDAP server. Second, we will start the UAA. Keep in mind that we previously set the Cloud Foundry config path environment variable. This environment variable references the location for the additional UAA configuration contained in the file uaa.yaml that is provided as part of the sample. But let's start the UAA. Once the UAA has started, we need to provide some additional customization. Specifically, we need to set up groups in UAA for the application roles. Map each LDAP role assignment to the UAA group. Set up the configuration for the Spring Cloud Dataflow server and Spring Cloud Skipper clients. For this, we will be using the Cloud Foundry UAA command line client. For this example, we bundle all UAA commands in a shell script file called setup UAA. Let's execute the UAA commands. Next, we will start Skipper, referencing the YAML configuration file with the additional security configuration. Once Skipper has started up, we will start Spring Cloud Dataflow, also referencing YAML configuration with additional security configuration. Keep in mind that we will also have RabbitMQ running so that your deployed stream applications can communicate with each other. Now that everything has started up, we can log in into the application. Let's go to the dashboard. And it should redirect us to the UA server and ask us for our credentials. We will provide the username Marlene with the password super secret. And this user has all access roles uh, for the application. Let's authorize. And the UA will redirect us back into the dashboard. On the About page, you will see that 
this particular user has all roles associated with her. Role modify, schedule, manage, create, destroy, deploy, and view. Let's log in with a different user. User Joe does not have any roles associated with him that can modify, create, or destroy any of the streams and tasks in Spring Cloud Dataflow. Instead, he only has the role view as well as manage. So let's go to the dashboard. Also, he gets redirected to the UAA. I will provide the username Joe password, Joe's password, sign in. And I will authorize the scopes and we will get redirected back into the dashboard. As you will see on the about page is that Joe does only have the manage and role view. And in both cases, Marlene and Joe, the roles are stored in the uh, LDAP server and then assigned by the UA to the users that are logging in. Also with Joe, you will see that he does not have any ability to, for example, create applications versus Marlene, she will, she has the ability to import applications. For the Dataflow shell in version 2.0, we improved the user experience in regards to security. Previously, you had to provide the credentials as part of command line arguments. Now the shell will detect whether security is enabled and then interactively prompt for the required credentials. So let's log in. I do not provide any credentials. The shell will start up, will ask for a username. Let's use Marlene. Provide the password, super secret. And the shell will start up and let me, let me log in. Back to the UI, we would like to configure and run a composed task. In order to do so, we need to import the task app status first. We can see the list of imported applications. Next, we would like to create a very simple composed task application. Let's create an application consisting of timestamp and timestamp batch. and give it a name of my compost task. And the compost task was successfully created. Finally, we can start our compost task application. We have to provide the security credentials. Press launch task. And the task was successfully launched. Eventually, our tasks timestamp and timestamp batch should complete successfully. Let's 
still running. Task at number one has been completed. Task number two. And ultimately, all tasks have been completed. This concludes the demonstration of the new security features in Spring Cloud Dataflow 2.0. Please check out the Spring Cloud Dataflow Samples GitHub repository as well as the reference documentation for further details. Thank you so much.